We will now start with the first part of CNS that is the brain. Brain is also known as encephalon. In normal adults, the weight of brain is about 1200 to 1400 grams. This is the approximate weight. Location, it is located or placed in the cranial cavity. So located in cranial cavity, which is also known as cranium or brain box. The brain, complete brain, is made up of about 100 billion nephron, sorry, neurons. So there are about 100 billion neurons which are present in the brain. And the weight varies from 1200 to 1400 grams in adult, uh, healthy adults. Now if we talk about the parts of the brain, the brain is divided into three parts and these parts are simply written as forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain but here we are writing the technical terms. The forebrain is known as prosencephalon. This is normally the forebrain. The middle part of the brain or middle brain is known as mesencephalon. This is the midbrain and the last part is known as rhombencephalon which is the hindbrain. So midbrain, forebrain, hindbrain these are the common terms given but Rosencephalon, mesencephalon and rhombencephalon, these are the technical terms given to these three parts. Prosencephalon is made up of again three parts. A pair of olfactory lobes. Then the largest part of the brain which is cerebrum. And because the cerebrum is divided into two equal halves, this part is also known as cerebral hemisphere. So cerebral hemispheres. And the third part is known as diencephalon. These are the three parts of the forebrain or prosencephalon. This makes the biggest part of the brain and out of which cerebrum is the largest part. Midbrain is small and more or less covered with the cerebrum part. But it has two parts. One, optic lobes and cerebral peduncles. These two parts make the midbrain. Rhombencephalon or hindbrain is also made up of three parts. First, cerebellum, then pons veruli. Pons veruli many times is written as simply pons, and the third part is medulla. Oblongata. So these are the parts of brain. Location is cranial cavity. It is whitish and the part which is maximum visible to us is cerebrum. So when we see it from outside, it appears whitish with a light pink shade in it and the surface is not smooth. It has little ridges and Furrows. There are certain depressions and there are certain bulges. So these are the three main parts of the brain. I have this model of the brain and we'll try to see all these parts which we have uh, uh, written down in this model to understand 
which part is where and then we will come to the detailed structure. So when we see the brain this is how it looks from the upper side and if we turn it then this is what is visible from ventral side. From the side view or the most of the part which is visible to us is this part and this is the uh, forebrain which we can say or the pros prosencephalon. In prosencephalon we said there are three parts. This part is the cerebrum and as we said it has two parts so these are the two halves of the cerebrum and there is a depression or a fissure here this is the central uh, fissure which is separating these two halves and that is why we call it cerebral hemispheres so as you can see from the model most of the brain is made up of cerebrum all other parts are hidden behind it the other part of the prosencephalon that is the olfactory lobes are visible only when we see it from the ventral side. Now here these two blue structures which are visible these are the olfactory lobes and in these olfactory lobes we see the up anterior part slightly swollen and a lower part. So this is a small structure a paired structure and as the name tells us olfactory it is helping in perception or detection of the sense of smell but as it is completely covered by the cerebral hemisphere it is not visible unless and until we see it from the ventral side so this is the cerebrum or cerebral hemispheres midbrain is not visible to us because it is completely covered by the cerebral hemisphere now what is visible to us is again the hindbrain this part which is visible here this is cerebellum so three parts we wrote forebrain midbrain and hindbrain in forebrain cerebrum is visible olfactory lobes from the ventral side diencephalon is not visible because it is completely buried inside the cerebrum midbrain is not at all visible to us now we are coming to hindbrain in hindbrain these two lobes which are visible there are actually three but only two are visible this is cerebellum and now if again i turn it like this we would see some parts this part the, which is slightly swollen this is pons then there is a less swollen part which is medulla oblongata and this continues with the brain stem and the spinal cord so this is how it is visible to us from side if we see it like this so the entire brain which is visible to us is predominantly the cerebrum. So again three parts of the brain, forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. Forebrain has three parts. The biggest part is visible to us from all the sides. We call it cerebrum. There are two halves and that is why they are also known as cerebral hemispheres. And as you can see the surface is not smooth it has ridges and slight depressions they are known as gyri the bulges are known as gyri and the depressions are known as sulci and if we see it from the ventral side then only these olfactory uh, lobes are visible each olfactory lobe has two parts the upper bulb part and the lower long tract part then midbrain nothing is visible to us hindbrain all three parts but cerebellum is visible from side and as well as from the back but the pons and medulla are visible when we see it slightly from that lateral side or ventral side so these are the parts and now once we have understood all these parts we will take up all these parts their structure function in detail